Okay, so this is the 1GRFE. This is just a flex plate from an automatic transmission. And it's just interesting to note that they still use the same bolts, uh, same number of them. This mounting circle, actually, here is bigger than the other V6s. That's actually 74 millimeters uh, from inner edge to inner edge. I don't know what the actual circle is, but. Uh, and then this inner hole is 52.2 millimeters. And this is some sort of adapter plate that slips over the edge of the uh, uh, crankshaft and adapts it up to this flex plate size. Interestingly enough, this inner edge on this is a smaller 41.9 millimeters to 42 millimeters. If we compare that to the Fidanza V6 that works with my 3MZ, we, we see it's also a 42 millimeter uh, inner bolt circle. So yes, you can actually slip this flywheel on the crank of a 1GRFE, but that bolt circle is not really even close. You can see the how far off it is. So the uh, super the turbocharged second gen MR2 people like to use the 2.2 liter 5 SFE crank um, to make strokers. And I believe those flywheels actually come slotted. And my understanding is as long as they're slotting outwards, it's stronger, as strong as or stronger as the original unmodified flywheel. But if you ever slot it inwards, you lose strength. So in theory, this flywheel could be modified to use on the 1GR FE motor by expanding that out. Um, starter would have to be figured out because the the sizes are just so radically different there's no there's no way that this ring gear would work at all the starter position would be way off um, but I mean you would the whole point of using this would be to adapt a different transmission to it anyways but it doesn't mount there's it's there's no way the the entire transmission rests against the motor and you could put the bolts all around the outside perimeter without getting a single one interfering with the transmission. It's that much smaller. It's kind of ridiculous.